This is Huawei Now, I'm Susie. According to the latest data, Huawei has signed more than 50 5G commercial contracts and shipped more than 200,000 5G base stations around the world. 5G is already with us. Today we are in London to experience some real 5G powered by Huawei. Yeah. Wow, I can see a beautiful thing here behind you. Can you see? Oh yeah, that's really fun, yeah. And we just had this amazing AR game with 5G. Mm -hmm. So why why is that able to do? Yeah, I mean AR, VR is, is actually um, a great demonstrator of yeah. what 5G can do yeah. because you need, you, do, you need a lot of data mm -hmm. because everything is 3D and, uh, and for interactions you need a lot of data to be interacted from one person to another in real time mm -hmm. so you can actually make you know, this interaction mm -hmm. happen in the cloud which you couldn't do with uh, you know, other technologies before mm -hmm. because the, the pipe, so the, the speed right. in one time is so much faster right. than, uh, than what it used to be. That's one thing. And then the other thing as well is in terms of the mobile users is capacity. So at the moment you've noticed when you are outside, here for example uh, we are you know, in a very dense urban area. If you are in places like this, normally your network is going down, yeah. your speeds yeah. are going down, sometimes you can't even connect. Right. Good example is when you are stadium, going to yeah. a concert yeah, right. or you know, you know, a stadium. Like Olympic Games. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. And, but actually with 5G, this yeah. cannot happen anymore yes, because it's, it's been designed for capacity. Right. Right. So it has been designed so that everybody can actually not only stay connected, but mm -hmm. at high speeds. Yeah. So that's a big thing, really. That is important, it's solving, especially yeah. in China. So we just experienced 5G with gaming industry. So what are some other industries which will be affected so significantly by 5G? So one of them, uh, there's a very good use case and it's happening right now. It's broadcasting. Right. Uh, for, obviously <laughs> you can shoot, you know, in 4K, maybe yeah, yeah. 8K, you know, yeah. later on. And uh, you can directly stream this. It's actually just ensuring the quality mm -hmm. of the connection. So nice. that's one big thing. There's a lot more yeah, applications right. in smart city, uh, smart industry, mobility, healthcare, you know, obviously yes. healthcare. remote surgery. Yeah. Imagine yeah. ambulance. Yes. You right. can actually have in real time, you can scan people, upload the data, because it's a lot of data when you're doing a scan, yeah. you know, to the, the hospital where the specialist is, the specialist doctor, and uh, and you can have the, the feedback straight away. Yeah, the to low the, latency. To the ambulance. Right, right, so right. if you're going to rural areas, if it's a long uh, commute to yeah. get to a specialist. You can actually do it remotely because you're 5G connected. Yeah, that's something really interesting. That wasn't interesting. possible before. It's a real use case. Right. It's, uh, it's actually being uh, demonstrated in many different countries, including the UK here, with the UK 5G, you know, which is one of the government. Yeah, that's you know, a really important yeah. one. Yeah. Program.